Once upon a time, in a serene temple nestled in the northern part of Japan, two brothers shared their tranquil abode. The elder one was a wise and learned monk, deeply immersed in the profound teachings of Buddhism. The younger brother, on the other hand, possessed a simpler disposition, and fate had left him with only one eye. One day, a wandering monk arrived at their temple seeking shelter but he did not come as a mere guest. Instead, he challenged the residents to a debate, a battle of words and wisdom, centered on the sublime teachings of Buddhism. The elder brother, weary from a day of intensive study, decided to delegate the task to his younger sibling. With a sense of responsibility, the elder brother instructed his one-eyed counterpart, go and request the dialogue in silence, my dear brother. The younger monk nodded an understanding and accompanied the visiting wanderer to the shrine. There, in the serene setting, they sat down, preparing for the intellectual battle that would soon unfold. As moments passed, the wandering monk unexpectedly rose from his seat and made his way to the elder brother. With a sense of amazement and defeat, he spoke. Your younger brother is a remarkable individual, he has bested me in our debate. Intrigued, the elder brother asked, would you be so kind as to recount the details of your dialogue with him? The traveler, still somewhat perplexed by the encounter, began to narrate, at the outset of our debate, I raised one finger, symbolizing Buddha, the enlightened one. In response, your younger brother raised two fingers, indicating not only Buddha, but also his profound teachings. I then raised three fingers, representing Buddha, his teachings, and his devoted followers, who strive to live harmoniously by his guidance. It was at this point that your younger brother clenched his fist and held it close to my face, signifying that all three Buddha, his teachings, and his followers emanate from a singular realization. Thus he emerged victorious, and I must honorably accept my defeat and depart from your temple. With these words, the traveler took his leave, vanishing into the horizon. Curiosity peaked. The younger monk rushed to find his elder brother, breathless and eager. He asked, brother, did you hear? I have triumphed in the debate. The elder monk, slightly taken aback, inquired, you won the debate. That's quite surprising. Please tell me about the topic you discussed. With enthusiasm, the younger brother began recounting the events, saying, well, as soon as the stranger saw me, he held up one finger, seemingly insinuating that I possess only one eye, wanting to be polite to our guest. I held up two fingers in response, signifying that he, in contrast, has two eyes. But then, the rude traveler held up three fingers, as if to suggest that between us, we possess only three eyes. His impertinence infuriated me, and I nearly resorted to violence, but he managed to escape before I could act. Listening to this curious account, the elder brother contemplated the situation. He realized that beneath the surface, there was a profound lesson hidden within their interaction. The elder monk explained, my dear brother, it appears that the debate was not about the number of physical eyes, but rather the depth of spiritual insight. The traveler's gestures symbolize the stages of enlightenment. When he raised one finger, he referred to the awakening of Buddha, a profound realization. Your response of two fingers acknowledged not only the awakened Buddha, but also his teachings. When he raised three fingers, he was emphasizing that the harmonious life of Buddha and his followers stems from this single realization. It was a debate of profound wisdom, not a mere count of physical eyes. Realization washed over the younger monk as he understood the true nature of their dialogue. He had missed the depth of the conversation, focusing on the surface, rather than delving into the profound teachings of Buddhism. Filled with humility and a newfound understanding, the younger monk bowed deeply to his elder brother and said, I see now, brother. It was not about eyes but the wisdom they symbolized. Thank you for helping me see the truth. The elder brother smiled, acknowledging his sibling's growth. Wisdom is a journey, my brother, and we learn from each encounter and experience along the way. From that day forward, the two brothers continued to dwell in their peaceful temple, 
sharing their wisdom and deepening their understanding of the profound teachings of Buddhism. They knew that true enlightenment was not a matter of appearances or superficial gestures, but a profound realization that transcended the physical world. And in the serenity of their temple, they found the wisdom to guide them on their spiritual journey, one step closer to the ultimate truth.